Do we know if mermaids really exist? If you open up the ocean geographers, we of course know that they'll say, we never see it, it's an old legend of the past, you can check it up on Google, they'll say these things don't exist, seeing is believing, but guess what, there's a Gemara in Bechorot, on Dav Chetim and Aleph, that says that there's a Mindag plight, that there's a type of dog over there which is known as a dolphin, something that we might be called a dolphin. Says Rashi, what is this? Dagim elu em chetzi tzurat adam vechetzi tzurat dag. They're a half man and a half man and a half fish. This is something that can be paired, that can reproduce from another person. If you tell me it's only Rashi, believe it or not, the Ravid in the Torah Kohanim, over there it's discussing. Tum'ah, that a man can be matame, says the Ravid over here on Sarni, something, another type of fish. He says the top of the fish is similar to a man, and the bottom of the fish is similar to a fish. That's what it is, especially known, of course, as we know, as the mermaid, and they are matame tumat oil. So this is a real specimen that definitely existed. Everything always comes from the Torah. I understand that these are things that are known as legends, but all legends are always based on something that comes from the Torah, they don't just make it up. And the Radak actually writes in a Pasuk in Shmuel, in Perikei, something called the Dagon. And he says also, Mitiburai ulamata tzurat dag, from the belly button and down and at the tzura of a fish, and mitibur lamala betzurat adam. And that's why it's called a Dagon, a, a half a fish, a sort of pseudo type of fish. That's what's known as a dolphin, the Bnei Yama, and apparently is something that exists. And listen to the words of the Sefer Aruch. In, under the words Sirni, which I said is what in the, the Sefer Aruch was a Rish, and he was older than Rashi. Rashi used to send him letters to ask him que- questions. And he brings a Maisa Shahaya, a real Maisa that happened with a king in the Galil Tifoni. He says in Denmark, in Norway, up in the northern waters over there, he says that they were passing by in a boat with a ship full of sailors, and, and the king over there was sitting at the end of the ship, and they saw on one of the rocks an image of a person, an image of a person where the bottom torso was completely fish, and the top of the torso was completely person, female, male, for whatever it was. And, and immediately they went to the man, they went to the other side of the boat screaming, you should come and see these incredible things. Unfortunately, they weren't able to do selfies back then. They didn't have any, any iPhones to be able to pick this one up. But in the meantime, while they did it, when the, by the time the king finally turned around, the mermaid figured out what was going on and took a dive into the ocean. Immediately took a dive and disappeared. And all the people on the ship promised, I'm telling you, we saw it, we saw it, that's what it is. We saw that, that, that that's what it is. And he brings from the Sefer Aruch even, and the Sefer Aruch even more, that he was 10 years ago in front of the king, and the king, when he, when he heard about this, he was quiet about this type of event. I will end with the words of the Ravid. The Ravid says that it's not just a merman, he says it's minagin ke'odam, it has the power of song. And as the Tzemech Tzedek writes, that when a, when a Sfina would pass by, this thing can actually cause damage, because it would play beautiful harmonies, which would put the whole ship to sleep, which can actually, with its beauty, actually put the whole ship to sleep and would leave it astray. The boat can end up going off the wrong thing as he says sometimes it would even turn topsy-turvy the whole boat can turn upside down so these fish can actually cause physical damage to what happens and they bring a remiss to this idea that's what it says in Tehillim your day ayam be'aniot the, the boat that goes down, the Oniya that goes down into the ocean, the Nun is upside down. And he says the reason why the Nun is hafuch in order to say, because a Nun means a fish. And the fish turns boats upside down, but it's an upside down fish. It's a fish that's only a half a fish and not a human.